Then out comes the job of pulling them rakes apart. I think, I think I'll use the 3010 because you can't back nothing in with the, the 4020, them taller tires on it. And plus it needs ran anywho. Why would you charge a battery just to let it sit for, you know, however many months? Just to go flat again, right? I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense in my mind, but whatever. This really isn't the best setup in my mind for these riches for this dolly because whatever grease comes out here lands on the bolt and then you get all covered in grease. But the back one's unhooked. Now to do the, the front one. Or maybe this won't work like I thought. <sighs> Let me do some more thinking. And now maybe I can, that tire there will mess that corner of the rake. I hope. If not, I'm screwed. Yep. Good deal. Alright, so we're working on the rakes here. Fixing teeth and stuff and enjoying us a Coca-Cola or Coke or whatever you guys pronunciate it. There was uh no broken teeth on this one. But the only thing I question is there is uh let's see I don't think there needs to be a tooth there. Or there this was what I was questioning. I don't know. There needs to be a tooth there or not. It looks like it's actually too close to the... Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll just... So, I'm just going to uh, put a tooth... Alright, yeah. Put a tooth there. Um... Mm, great. What the? Stupid thing. <sighs> he was crass. Ouch. Mmm. That. So I'm not allowed to play with the impact no more after scaring myself. Um, well, I didn't. Didn't scare myself. Well, yes, I kind of did. Um, because the wrench went flying. And, um, oh, good grief. You know, it's just... Ouch! Okay. Smashing every finger. Man. Grief. The heck? But what I meant to say was... Uh... Ooh, I hit...
Deck gone. Wouldn't be a mechanic if you didn't have smashed fingers and say a couple words. Ooh, you know what? Ooh, I don't like this bolt, guys. I don't like this bolt. Looky here. Looky here. Look at them threads. Oh, yeah. They're all... They're all doinked up. Ew. Look at the look at the end, right? Right there, my tip, my finger. Yeah. I don't like that at all. I think we might be replacing that. So I went and found the world's smallest punch. Okay. Maybe not quite the world's smallest punch. But it's small enough to do the job just like that. Okay, so I managed to find, I hope, the right uh, size bolt, 916s. Um, ooh, it's a little hard going through the hole. Uh, must have been the wrong hole anyhow. Okay. At least it's going to work. Oop, we can't be putting that on backwards. Can't be putting that on backwards because then the thing won't do its job. And actually, I think this was a tooth that I missed last winter when uh dad had me change these out i think we ran that yeah we ran out of teeth we ran out of teeth and he said just you know fix what we got where the heck's my wrench oh it's in my pocket farmers you guys probably know too about you know uh Leaving your leaving tools in your pockets and stuff like that, and wife or girlfriend finding them in your clothes the next day. Yeah, that uh, that can make things quite interesting. So yeah. Um, It was a hard spot on this nut, or on this bolt, that the, the nut didn't want to go over. And I think I am past that now. And of course you landed on the concrete. Oops. Ah, uh, that was the only The only tooth on that rake how we didn't break any i don't get it but this one here has a couple of broken teeth and there's one right here that's a real pain in the hooky to get because it's right underneath this bar here uh this main support bar right here which makes getting it off ever so fun and then there's one down there one there, or no, bent one. Oh, bent one, bent one, not good. Uh, so I think there were 10, 10 teeth that were broken on this one. And um, there's one down here that's got a goobered up that's got a goobered up uh, bolt right here with the the threads all dunkered up on it. So, um, yeah, that's going to have to be burned out. But, you know, 
it is what it is. Uh, I guess now it comes time to grease. Grease the rakes. Um, yeah. Not really going to be looking at one of these until spring, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Well, these rakes are not the most user-friendly to grease um, because you got to get this the shaft here turned and it is not there's supposed to be a grease fitting up underneath here you're supposed to be able to to put grease in but I'm not having I'm not having a good luck, good luck with this because you gotta have this, you gotta have this shaft spun. And I'm just not, I'm just not having good, good luck. Okay, there it is. Where's the fitting? there stay there we'll pump you full of grease that ought to be good enough then there's a grease fitting right here I don't know why these things just don't yes I know people are going to say oh lock and lube And I'm going to say no, because what do you do like, say for instance, on uh, the square baler when, uh, you know, you got those grease fittings that are through, a P through the PTO cover for the PTO shield. You can't get to them with a lock and lube. So lock and lube ain't good for everything. Um, I have a lock and lube, but I'm not going to go through the, uh, I'm not going to go through the headache of putting the dang thing on just to, just to grease these rakes. Um, I'm going to, if I'm going to use the darn lock and lube, I'm going to put the thing on and I'm going to leave it on, uh, a grease gun, but, uh, But um, that's not going to happen anytime soon, so we will just keep greasing uh, this way. Which is another reason, too, why I want uh, uh, said Christmas present, early Christmas present, because uh, I uh, won't over grease, if any of you guys can figure out what I mean by that. I saw these rakes are greased. Oh, that tire's about out of air. Um, yeah, so I gotta finish that rake tomorrow. Grease the this guy back here, this shaft, the drive shaft for both wheels. Um, yeah, and I'm headed home because it's getting windy and it might rain. So, we will see you guys in the morning or whenever. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm not a doctor. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.
thinking that uh, we needed to go down, but nope. Let's see what I do with my hitch pin. It's in the cab here. Get both of it. You guys see now why I bought. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I got too big of a, a pin. Uh oh. Just a skosh too big. Last rake to get out of here. Man, this thing comes in ever more handy and I thought I'd use it for. Why well, set out and freeze on a tractor when uh, when I get a heated gator to pull farm equipment around with. Now to go back and see if I can handle that dolly or not. Which I probably should be able to handle it. It's just trying to figure out whether uh, the thing's turned around straight or not, and whether the tires on the back end are straight. Eh, I figured out. You see once. Eh, straight enough. 